Hey grade one, welcome to science. Today we're gonna to be talking about a happy mind and a sad mind. So this is the first worksheet we have here. So it's really important to understand that happy and sad are both emotions that we feel. And we can actually feel both of those emotions somewhat together. We can feel happy about something maybe ending or changing, but also sad that to see that something's ending or changing. Um, so a good example for me where I feel both it, both of these feelings would be the end of school. I'm so happy and excited for the summer, but I'm so sad to have to say a temporary goodbye to my friends and my students. So I feel both emotions. It's kind of that bittersweet moment. But here we're gonna be talking about just what a happy mind, what we feel when we're happy, and then what we feel when we're sad. So when you're happy, what does your brain feel? What does your mind feel? How do you feel other than the word happy? And the same with sad. So for example, I might say, well, my happy mind means that I feel very calm. I feel excited. I feel energetic. I feel like I'm ready to go have lots of fun. And my sad mind, I might say, well, I feel like just being quiet. I feel like maybe not going outside to play. I feel like I want to cuddle up with my favorite movie and my favorite treat. Maybe I might say when I'm sad, I like to, to I like to be alone or I like to be with family. So it's your choice what you feel with your happy mind versus your sad mind. So then here on this sheet, we have happy mind, sad mind. So you're going to write down some ideas of things that your brain thinks when it feels happy and when it feels sad. You're going to color each side of the brain with the colors that show the way your mind feels. So if you look at the left half of the sheet, that would be the left side of your brain you're looking at. It's going to be our happy mind. So we have three boxes we have to fill in with based on how we feel or maybe what makes us happy. And then you're going to color that left side of the brain your happy colors. What are colors that make you super happy or make you feel happy? All right, and then on the right side, we're gonna do the total opposite. We're gonna talk about the sad mind. So we have three examples you need to write that maybe make you feel sad, maybe something that's happened to make you feel sad, or maybe some other reasons why you would feel sad. It's really good to recognize both. And then on the right side of the brain, you're gonna color it in sad colors. Colors that maybe don't make you feel as happy or as excited. Maybe, maybe it could be your least favorite color. Your least favorite color makes you super sad. So you're gonna color your brain that color. You can use more than one color, but try to stick to just happy colors on one side and sad colors on another side, okay? So this is it for the activity. It's just really good for us to understand that it's okay to have a happy mind and it's okay to have a sad mind. But when we have a sad mind for a long, long, long time, or if it's really, really sad, we wanna make sure that we tell someone. We want to make sure that our sad mind is not an always thing. That's a temporary thing. We're all allowed to have moments of sadness, just like we're allowed to have moments of anger. We're allowed to have moments of disgust. We're allowed to have moments of any other emotion that we feel. Okay? It's really important to make sure that even if we have those different mindsets or sad minds, that it turns back into a happy mind soon. Alrighty, so that's it that you have to do this for activity. Um, have lots of fun with this one. Enjoy your coloring. And I'm really excited to see the things that make you happy and the things that you notice when you are sad. So have lots of fun and I'll see you next time.